So if you're struggling to grow a happy and healthy and vibrant garden, this might be why. Let me know in the comments if you have or do know what type of soil you've got in your garden. If you have not taken the time to know the type of soil you have, it's definitely worth doing. Your garden may actually have several different types of soil in it, depending on the age of your garden, the like the history of your garden, uh, how it's built. Yeah, so there can be different types of soil in different areas of your garden, in different pHs as well in different areas of your garden. So it's really worth looking and maybe digging around in different areas of your garden to find out what type of soil you've got in different spaces. If you've got a big garden, it's worth checking top and bottom of your garden, or if you've got clear find areas like a wooded area or um, if you've got more of a meadow kind of space that kind of thing it's worth checking because they will be in the touristy kind of different types of plants growing there leading to different types of soil so it's worth checking different spaces in your garden especially if you've got a big garden so a simple way to test the soil type that you've got is by digging a hole now <laughs> i don't don't mean to sound patronizing right now but it is to big dig a hole so it could be a small hole so you can do it with a trowel or you can do a slightly bigger hole with a spade, whatever you want. So if you use it with the, with a spade, um, a really good way of doing it is like using the spade as a gauge. So you do like spade blade wide, like square. So blade, blade to make it square. Then how else better to say it without having a spade in my hand to show you. Um, so you can either do, do it with a trowel if you've got smaller space or do it with a spade if you want to do something a little bit bigger. Dig a hole. And with the earth that you dig out the hole, so if you do it with a spade or a trowel, with the earth that you dig out the hole, Take some in your hand, your glove, if you want to wear gloves, take some in your hand and look at it. Just look at it. You can look at the consistency and the colour. You can look at um, what the makeup of it is. So you can clearly see from this first step um, whether you've got clay soil, sandy soil, silty soil, chalky soil or loamy soil. You can clearly see this by the way it looks. You can just see. So observe. Have a look at the soil you have in your hand and see if you can identify what you think the type of soil that you've got. Next would be you give it a squeeze, <laughs> squeeze the soil in your hand. Now, if it clumps together, if it sticks together, you know it's going to be more clay soil. If it crumbles, like the second you release it, it doesn't stick at all. You're going to have more sandy or maybe even silty soil. If it sticks together and then crumbles when you break it up with your fingers. So if you squeeze it, it's stuck together and then you can break it up really easily, just like releases. Um, that would indicate you've got more loamy or silty soil. So these, again, they are really good indicators of what, what type of soil that you've got. If you want to get into um, more technical terms of it, you can get soil testing kits so it can tell you what the pH is of your soil, what the mineral content is of your soil, um, what it's lacking and everything like that. So you can buy those online. You can get them in garden centres as well. You can get basic ones that tell you the pH and a few mineral content levels of minerals. Um, you can get those in the garden centres, but you can get more advanced ones online. So they're good as well. Um, but they just give you a little bit of background as to what you're dealing with. But just understanding the type of soil you've got, so say like whether you're clay soil, sandy soil, loamy soil, anything like that, that will really give you a good starting point when it comes to soil care in your garden and what plants will thrive as it goes. So it's a really good starting point. Each type of soil, as I say, needs a different type of or kind of care as well when it comes to it, a different way of conditioning the soil. So it will have different needs. So as I say, also different plants will thrive in different types of soil as well. So this is really important. If you're struggling to grow a happy and healthy and vibrant garden, this might be why. If you don't understand the type of soil you've got, you might be growing the wrong type of plants or not supporting the plants in the correct way. So understanding this will really help. So once you know, it'll become clear.